Hi, and welcome to day two of my 10 days of origami giveaways to celebrate my 10 year YouTube anniversary. Yesterday, I talked a bit more about how I got here before introducing the prizes and how to enter, but today I get right to it. To the day, 10 years ago, I uploaded my very first YouTube video. So I'd like to know which of my videos did you watch first? Now, to take part in this giveaway, comment on the first video of mine that you watched using the hashtag MyFirst. Don't worry if you're not sure, just make your best guess. Also, you'll have to be subscribed to my channel to have a chance of winning one of the prizes. So if you aren't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so now. Plus, if you haven't turned on notifications yet, take a moment to click the notification bell to make sure you don't miss my future videos. The deadline for submissions is July 8th, 2017. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, I'm sure you want to know what's up for grabs. Well, sticking to the theme of firsts, what's the first thing you need to fold an origami model? Exactly, paper. And to stay with the theme of 10 years, I decided to put together sets that include 10 different paper types. I'll be giving away five of these sets. So now let me show you which 10 paper types I chose. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, some still in there. Okay, so let's see. Let's get these out of the way and go through them one by one. So first there's Kami. I use this type of paper in most of my videos because it's relatively widely available, usually has a different color on the front and the reverse and works well for most models. I've included two sheets with a side length of 24 centimeters and also two with a side length of 15 centimeters and these ones are actually dual colored red and green which makes them very nice for flowers. And you'll actually see that I'm always including two sheets because for me it's like if I only have one sheet of something I find it very hard to fold something from it. So I wanted to encourage you to really use this paper to fold with it. So I'm including two, one to just try out and find out how the paper folds and you'll always have another one for a different project. Okay, on to the next paper type which is this slightly textured metallic Japanese paper. It's a a bit heavier so it's very good for boxes but of course you can use it for other models too but because it's quite sturdy it does lend itself well to folding boxes. Again I'm including two sheets with a side length of 24 centimeters and I will say this is one of the more expensive papers in this set so handle it with care and give it a bit of love. Next up is a much less expensive paper, which is Pack on Squares. I love this paper because it's relatively thin and strong and I folded lots of hydrangeas from this. And if you don't know which model I'm talking about, this is the hydrangea by Shusu Fujimoto. And yes, I do have a tutorial on that too. But you can fold animals from it um, or uh, slightly more complex models too. And I also wanted to note that most of these colors are the same in all of the sets. But for example, the larger sheets of Kami have different colors because I get packs that have well, one sheet of each color only. <laughs> so I wouldn't have been able to, to put together five sets that all had the same colors. But these ones are going to have the same colors and these ones too. And the next ones, I think I also included the same colors, which is Glacine. Uh, this is very transparent paper. It's very, very light, very crisp, and it's especially beautiful if you fold patterns into it and then hang them on a window because you get these beautiful backlighting effects. And I included two sheets with a side length of 20 centimeters and two sheets with a side length of 15 centimeters. And I think I might have used slightly different colors in the different sets, but I did try to mix it up and make it really nice and interesting. Now, I cannot do a paper set without including elephant hide. And I've included two sheets 
The first one is a 20 centimeter square of this gray elephant hide and the second one is a hexagon with a hexagon side length of 10.5 centimeters or a diameter of 21 centimeters. And this paper is a bit thicker. It's extremely strong, so very good for tessellations or anything where you fold back and forth a lot because the paper takes it really well. It holds its shape. It's nice for wet folding too. And I included one hexagon because, uh, you know, I, I do want to encourage you to try and fold a tessellation from it, perhaps. So if you already have a hexagon, it's very easy to fold a triangle grid from it. There's also a paper review that Ilan Garibi and Gadi Vishnu wrote, if you want more details on this really fantastic paper. And that review is posted on my website and I'll add a link to the video description. And also up here there should be a small eye icon which you can click to go there right away. Next up also a, a paper that has been reviewed by Ilan Garibi and Gadi Vishne, which is Tant. Tant is beautiful paper. It has a very, very subtle texture and has no shine to it, which makes it great to photograph. And I think it's, it's really beautiful to fold very many models from it. But because of the slight texture, I also do like using it for natural things, such as plants or animals. And here I'm including two squares with a side length of 17.5 centimeters. And um, then we shall move on to the next paper, which is also textured, but much more obviously textured with this crumpling structure. I'm including two sheets, each with a side length of 17.5 centimeters again. The reverse is a metallic gold. So this paper actually holds its shape quite well because of that metallic component. And I, I prefer folding models which display the paper a lot because it just has this wonderful texture in it. So um, I folded stars with it, but also animals and, and just anything that has a bit of paper that's not creased on display. So uh, again, beautiful paper, also a bit on the expensive side again. So respect it when you fold something from it. Then we've also got two squares of American foil. I think Japanese foil is relatively well known, but American foil not so much, so I wanted to include it here. The difference between American foil and Japanese foil is actually that American foil is quite a bit thicker, and that means that it doesn't uh, crinkle as easily, and it's in some ways a bit easier to handle. It also has a bit more weight so that it's easier to perhaps fold modulars from it if you like. I'm including two sheets with a side length of 16 centimeters here and I hope you enjoy them. And again, just like Kami, there one side is white and the other is colored in metallic shades. And the ninth paper type, we're almost done, is this shadow fold paper. This is super thin and super light and it has this beautiful iridescent shine to it. I'm hoping it shows up on camera. I chose to do two different colors. I'm trying to show you how beautiful it really is and I'm hoping it shows up on camera. Now this paper to me is really well suited for folding beetles and butterflies and maybe birds. But of course you can also fold other things that you know you think work well with this iridescent shine to it. You could of course do, do stars that would work perfectly too. Again two sheets and these have a side length of 15 centimeters. And finally for the tenth paper type I actually also included two larger sheets. Now as you can see here I folded them in half because they else wouldn't have fit into this envelope. And these have a side length of 30 centimeters. It's the tissue foil that Nicolas Terry sells. It's very different, I have to add this here, to tissue foil that you make yourself when you glue tissue paper onto kitchen foil. And I've got a video on that just if you're interested. Also, there's an in-depth paper review by Ilan Garibi and Gadi Vishne on this paper on my website, so you can check that out too. I, I do love folding with this paper. The different colors actually have different folding qualities. So I included this copper, which is much stiffer 
than this, this light shade of gold, which is much softer. And I tried to make a very straight crease, but also a not too hard crease, so that uh, if you don't want to use that crease, it maybe isn't as obvious as if I'd really done a very strong crease. So those are the 10 different paper types I included. I hope you enjoy them. I think they're all very nice and they have very different folding qualities and I wanted to, you know, let the winners try out very different kinds of paper. 10 paper types, a total of 25 sheets of paper. I'm sure many of you are keen to get your hands on one of these five sets. So just to recap, here's how you can take part. First, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And second, comment on the first of my videos you watched, at least to the best of your memory, using the hashtag myfirst. You can add a personal message in the comment too. I actually encourage it. I always love hearing from you, but do make sure it also includes the hashtag so I know the comment is a submission to this giveaway. And the deadline for submissions is July 8th, 2017. Okay, so this turned out to be a slightly longer video than I actually thought, but I did want to show you that paper. And if you'd like to take part in the other nine giveaways of my 10 days of origami giveaways, which I'm sure you do, I've created a playlist for all of them. I'll add the other giveaway videos as they go online. But now, comment on the first of my videos you watched and perhaps you'll even fold the model again. So with that, I wish you, as always, happy folding.